Right, I haven't filmed anything today because I haven't really done anything. I slept a bit and then I went to pick Morgan up from school at 3 o'clock. And then I got Morgan to do her homework, which was a bit of a hard work. Um, what it was is she didn't want to do her spellings properly. So... I was like, okay, then you can read your book after showing her how to do her spellings properly. And she didn't want to do it and she started crying. So I says, I can read you the book first and then you could read the book later for me. But no, she doesn't want to do it. So then I went to say to her to get dressed out of her uniform and she refused to do that. I, like, whenever she started school, as soon as she got home, out of her uniform. That's the way it was. So I don't know why she can't do that again. She didn't do it on Friday. She was in her uniform all day on Friday. I think. Um, so yeah. She's just ran up to her room. After me closing the door so that she can't get in because... I did that because she needed to go up to her room and get, get dressed or, or finish her homework. So but then I went, go up to your room and get dressed. But nope. So she just slammed the door and said I'm horrible. I don't know what's horrible about trying to get her to change or, do your, or finish her homework. But I'm Mr. Bad Guy again. Um, so yeah, my mum's coming home to try and help me, we'll see. I'm going to go up to Morgan and see. I'm, I don't know if I should film it or not, but um, I might take Elsa actually, if I can get her up. There we go. Hello, Elsa. Right. I don't know whether I should film this. Sorry, am I not holding you properly? Wish me luck. Is it safe to come in? Are you getting dressed? No. Somebody's here to see you. I've just put Morgan's um, other dollhouse up in her room because it was just here and there's no need to be space in this house. Um, so yeah, because she, she had a, a tent, like a play tent up in her room, but that fell apart because the two of the the poles broke so she doesn't have it now because we would have to get a replacement of the poles before she was able to put it back up um, so I just put the doll's house in her room and I, I am halfway through home and away for today um, <coughs> I'm not going to put any spoilers in it Except to say, Billy is a right, um, B-I-T-C-H, and she should get everything that happens to her. I never really liked Billy when she first came in it, even though she was Ash's sister, um, and especially the way she did she was like that with Kyle and then Nate. Oh, horrible. She's a, she's horrible. She's a nasty piece of work. Um, cause Nate is lovely and he's really happy with, um, Kat, the policewoman. So, um, so yeah, that's all for now. I'm going to do a couple of videos. I'm going to, I think I might do what's in your fridge, um, 
tag thing, but I'm not totally sure. I might. If if so, I'll be up with this along with this video. So here we go. Morgan wanted Morgan wanted another s'more today, so that's her getting the putting the marshmallows onto the thing. She's wearing a top that says love 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 on it and I love it. It's one of my favourite tops of hers. She's been messy. She's been weird. Morgan is weird. Hey! <laughs> Just because I said that to you in a video doesn't mean that, that you say that to them in a video. <laughs> Hurry up, will ye? Ryan! <laughs> oh, I want to eat those. <laughs> right, go. I like eating marshmallows. Yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> I'm going to eat it now. Yeah, eat the rest. Ooh, I love marshmallows. Uh, uh. <laughs> so I haven't really filmed that much today because I haven't really done anything apart from picking Morgan up from school and then I I ordered Chinese because I was hungry and I didn't know what to cook because Morgan says she wanted pizza um so yeah I just um ordered a Chinese for myself and made her pizza that I got my mum to bring over from her house because I'd left it there. Um, so yeah, and luckily I had room to put the rest of the pizza in the freezer. So, um, but I had, f for my Chinese, I had crispy smoked chicken that were, oh, it was yummy. I didn't eat all of them so I will probably have some tomorrow for lunch. And I have also got a chicken chow mein with thin noodles and that was gorgeous. I've still got plenty of that left too so I'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow and that'll be alright for the next day too so yep. Um, my support worker says you don't really, you shouldn't start off your day with like a Chinese or whatever takeaway kind of stuff. Because it just means she'll be bad for the rest of the week. But, oh well. I really did kind of wanted to make um, meatballs and spaghetti and that. But, um, no, it didn't happen. I'll have to look through my cupboards to see if I've got like a tomato sauce stuff to like a bolognese sauce. So I can make it. Um... I know I've got a tomato tomato and bacon pasta bake stuff but I normally like cooking that with the pasta like the penny pasta and um, smoked sausage because it's gorgeous it's um it's Ma Madison Mat not Madison Mad Madison's um, smoked sausage it is lovely if that's how you pronounce it um, with the in the pasta bag is yummy. You just basically put it in a in a like a lasagna dish. You put the pasta in the lasagna dish, dry. Put all this, put the sauce on it, and put whatever fillings you want in it. Like I put the smoked sausage in it, and that's it. And then I put cheese on top once it once it's wet. Once you put it in the oven and cook it for about twenty five minutes, and then you um put the cheese on it and then put it in for another five minutes or something like that um but it's yummy um i'm gonna show you i'm gonna start decluttering my nail varnish um what i'm doing is the pop the project polish but i want to show you my nail polish collection because this isn't going to be a long video if it, if I didn't put this in, but the cat is the cat is there. 
I came upstairs and I was like, where's the cat? Because it wasn't in the kitchen in its bed, but it was in my room I because I left the, the my door open. I don't normally leave my door open. But I'll show you the Project Polish ones I've got. One of them I'm going to chuck away. So I suppose this is like an update as well. Um, I love this hair. I'm wearing this on my, my nails at the minute and I've retouched it a few times and it's about there. I'll have to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a pen and I'm going to mark. So I'm not going to actually update you with the project polish. But then there's this one. The, these ones are Avon ones. Uh, the yellow one's a Nailwear Pro one. The Avon, this one, this a bluey purpley one is Color Last Plus. This one's an Arabian Glow Speed Dry, yeah, or green one, and this one is called Paradise. I thought it was called Lagoon, but it's Paradise, and it's just Nailwear, Avon Nailwear. And then I've got this one. What? And I've got this one and it's Boots um, Natural Collections and the shade, it, it doesn't say shade actually, it just, it's just blue. Uh, then I've got three Essie um, mini things and that's... Um, I'm gonna get it out of the. This is. No, they don't have the name. Oh no! That is the names. Okay, I'll leave it in the thing then. Um, that's called Ruffles and Feathers, the greeny one. Then that there one's Hot in the Heat. And then that's there's. Raw Ranch. <laughs> um. I've got my room's mess. where my bath things were. I'll put that in my bathroom. Oh, I've got them. They're nice. They're pretty. Then I've got Barry M nail paint in black. Just black. Then I've got the Makeup Gallery Time to Shine Quick Dry Nail Colour in Teal Tinsel and it's like green and sparkly gl glitter. I've got a uh, artist expressions one. It's um in the shade warm, and it's like glittery, and it's got the glitter effects and stripe effects. Basically, it's how it shows you how to decorate your decorate your nails, and I haven't used it yet. But I'm gonna. I think I will try it next time soon.
and I've actually I've got loads of nail stick. Wait. I've got loads of nail stickers and or not stickers, um, nail art and stuff. And this here I want to try. It's the Salon Effects nail polish strips. It's like gold, golden glittery. So I want to try that. And then I've got uh, NCLA Los Angeles one and it looks like it's gone past it as already. Um, but I got this um, in a glossy box and it is called like totally valley girl and it's a nice pinky color then i've got another avon one that's nailwear pro plus and that's in the shade cherry jubilee i haven't tried this one yet but it's one of my favorite new shades um then I've got another one that was in a, one of my boxes that I got and it's going the same way as the pink one. Um, it's a Colour Club nail lacquer and it's in the shade Barely There. I've got a I've got one that's very similar and it's it's like that and it's from Next. It's called Oh So Nails. From next and it's does it say a shade biscuit I was gonna say biscuit but I couldn't remember my friend Danny got me this one and I love it I love it then I've got like a few top coats I've got a nail, nailing top coat, uh, the edge top coat, and a collection two in one top and base coat. Then I've got the edge um, white nail varnish and I've got nail pink polish and a base coat that's pink. This is for manicure or French manicure. Um, I got them from doing beauty therapy at Tech. I got these ones and that clear or the top coat that's the edge as well. I got them all together, but I haven't used them, but I will use them, because I haven't done my, I'm not really good at doing French manicures on myself anyway, I haven't tried with anybody else, but I, but I'm going to try and do them again at some point, and then I've got, oh, then I've got two other ones that are for nail, nail French manicures, and this is the she this is Avon and it's the sheer pink French pink. You can hardly tell but and then this is a French tip white, so there's another white one. And then I've got then I've got six um sugar and spice ones. That I can't remember where I got them. Ones in, they're all called sugar and spice, and the I don't think they've got them. They do have names, but I can't see them. No, and the names are all gone. So I've got like a briny goldy one there. You can't really see. Then I've got a black silvery one. 
Then I've got a silver, a blue, a goldy, bronzy colour, and then purple. Purpley, purpley pinky colour. Yeah, it doesn't say what shades they are. And then I've got another one that was in one of my boxes and it's the Essence, the Gel Nail Polish. And I like this colour but I haven't used it. I wanted to use it as soon as I got it. But for some reason I didn't. Uh, and I've got another gel polish. And this is like silvery glitter. If I can, you can't see it, you can't see the colour. It's like that. It's like a blue, silvery, glittery. Because I've got a UV light that dries my nails, I'm going to use that some sometime. Then I've got. Let me see. I've got four Tanya Burr ones. These two that are new. It's the uh, New York Night, which is the brown, brownie burgundy colour. Then I've got Mini Marshmallows, which is a nice pinky colour. And then I've got the my, one of my favourite shades. Which is the um, Little Duck, which is a light greeny colour. Love it. And I also love this red, or I keep on calling it Red Riding Hood, but it's just called R Riding Hood. But I love it. There's another Tanya Burr one that I want that's like a dark kind of grey colour. I can't remember what it's called. But... Once I've finished a couple of nail varnishes that are in my project polish, I will go and get it, go and get it and probably a couple more nail varnishes. Just because I like having a big collection. Um I've got some some at my parents' house. I've got some new Avon ones at my parents' house. One's called Lavender Sky and that's a lovely purple colour and it's just, can't wait to wear that. But I'll wear it whenever I'm at my parents' house or something. Or I might put it on my toenails first just to try it. Because I want to do the Project Polish ones on my fingernails. Then I've got two Bar M ones. I've got a nice yellow and it's called On Your Marks. Then I've got a blue one that's called Eat My Dust. I had lost this and I went out and bought a new one and then I found it. So I've got this one at my parents' house as well. As here. So I'm never going to run out. <laughs> well, I will, but you know what I mean. Um, eventually. So yeah, I like them. They're both quick dry ones. Then I've got two ones that I got from Poundland and I've already showed you one that was from Poundland and it was the tinsel, the tinsel tail or tail tinsel or something. This here goes along with it. Basically you put this one on first and then you put the tail tinsel one on over it so it's like glittery. So that's why I got that. But then I saw this here one that's um they don't oh yeah pixie dust pink and this one's called true teal but this one I think is really really nice one of the YouTubers that I watch I can't think who it was now but she got these 
three nail varnishes so I wanted to get them and they're from Poundland so that's good Sorry about that, they were all over the place. Um, then I've got another green one. It doesn't say what it's called. Oh no, it does. Take five and it's from Claire's Accessories. Then I've got another Claire's Accessories one which is pink glitter. And it's called Fizzy. And then I've got another pink glittery one that's from H&M and it's just a wee mini one. It's like that. I actually got this when I was in London and it's called Glittery Dream. I like it. Then I have another Barium one, which is a jelly high shine one that's called Coconut and it's just kind of like a whitey grey colour. And then I've got three Butter Londons. I've got a pinky one that's called Snog. It's like that. Then I've got a peachy one that's called Kerfuffle. And then I've got an orangey one that's called Jaffa. And I've had this on my nails. I love it. I love it. Then I've got two Essie ones. I've got an all-in-one three-way glaze, which is a base and top coat and strengthener. And then I've got a pinky one that's called, it's just number 15. It's like that. And then I'll... And then I will show you what I've got in this. I've got a Sally Hansen Hard As Nails with Nylon Clear Nail Varnish. So I need to start using this. I've hardly really used it. So, yeah. Then I've got these two that were from Poundland, I think. And one of them's, they're both called Pretty. Um, they don't say what they're called. But basically, this here's called... Oh wait, they do say. This is a, the green one's a leather look. I've tried this once and 
I wasn't that keen on how it felt. It was all rough. But I will try it again. Then I have the heart glitter nail varnish. It's all little hearts. I haven't tried this yet. Then I've got a few Avon one, Avon ones. I think that's the only one that's not Avon. Oh no, there's an Avon one. And that's an Avon one. And that's an Avon one. And that's an Avon one. one. Then I will show you the Avon ones that I've got that are in here. This here one is probably nearly done because it's kind of looks like it's either like gloopy or something. But this is called Rose and it actually has a scent to it and it smells of roses. It's really, really nice. I really love this. It's just red. Then I've got a nourishing treatment with cactus nail experts one. I've had this before, but I'll have to use it again. Then I've got a a pink one it's like that. It's called Iced Sham Pink and I have two of the exact same um, lipstick of this. It's the same colour and it's very pink on my lips. It's like shimmery and pink and it's really nice. But I lost it I think or I yeah I think I lost it so I bought another one. So I've actually got two of them and I can't find, I can't find them at the minute. But I will find them hopefully because they're one of my favorite, one of my favorite lip glosses or not lip gloss, lip sticks. Um, actually, that's all. That's all of the ones that are in there, and that one. So I'll start putting them in here again. Actually, no. Um, then I've got, uh, I can't see what that's called, indigo or something? Yeah, this one is a colour trend blue, blue nail, nail varnish and it's called indigo. Then I've got a brown one that's um, nailwear with Flexi Shield technology and it's in the shade Swiss Chocolate. I'm not that keen but I will try it, try it again even if it's just on my toes. Then I've got like a silvery purple that's called, let me see. No, can't see what it's called. And I'm getting a dead foot. This one is quite nice because it's got like a silveriness in it. I used this before I did the project pan, I think. Ah, my leg. Ugh. I need to get up. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. 
Right then, I've got two um, nail art ones. I've got a silver one and, an, and a gold one. And they're both from Avon. I need to use these more. I do prefer the silver one to the gold. Um, but if I'm not going to use them, I might just chuck them. But I'm going to try and use them. Uh, then I've got a black um, silvery one. It's called Pewter. It says Evie Glam. So I think it was from Peacocks. Yeah, it was from Peacocks when we had it. Then I've got another bar I am one which oh it's something green something green I, it's rubbed off but it's very very nice I like wearing green nails for um, St. Patrick's Day and then I like wearing orange nails for Halloween and I've got an orange And then I've got a China Glaze one that's um, purpley pinky.